standing alone at the podium above everyone else. That is already enough of an accomplishment. But what if you could be the greatest to ever step onto the podium? Introducing Samsung White. Let us travel back in time to the plains of the old Summoner's Rift in Season 4. Korea had just made its loud entrance onto the international stage the previous year with SKT, and things were only going to get better for the LCK from here. Season 4 LCK was arguably the most stacked collection of talent across a singular league ever. To put in perspective, the B teams of most organizations would annihilate the best teams the West and China could produce. And amongst them was the new powerhouse that had usurped the throne SKT had briefly held. Samsung Blue and Samsung White. Now keep in mind, Samsung White was not the best team in the league during this time. Now how could that be if they end up being the greatest team ever? Well, I'll get to that. But importantly, it was Samsung Blue that was winning the league and defeating White in head-to-head -head series. So when White came to Season 4 Worlds, they were not the number one contender from Korea. At least, not yet. White's campaign started in groups, where those vision fundamentals and their supreme mechanical talent helped propel them to an easy top place finish. That new lock of clear love inside of the Cataclysm, it will give Impa kill. They're going to take down oh. Nome as well. This is a whitewash. It's a massacre. That was all escalated so quickly. The team was then matched up against TSM in the quarters. Now this wasn't the do nothing and lose TSM that would come to Worlds in later years. This was a young and mechanically skilled Bjergsen, an intelligent jungler and amazing, and a confident bottom lane featuring the ever smiling Wild Turtle. They got past groups and were poised to pull off an impressive upset, but White put an end to that notion very quickly. Time for TSM to try and make a play. Looper is a pretty hard person to dive. Oh, this is not what can happen when you're going for these dives. The team took a dominating 2-0 lead, famously holding back on using signature picks like Dandy's Rengar because, well, it wasn't worth pulling it out against TSM. Their confidence and bravado only grew in Game 3 when they picked one of the worst, most troll drafts in the entire tournament an ultimate disrespect to their opponents, and a display of their own supreme self-belief. Although TSM was able to win Game 3, many still believe it was a win gift-wrapped and handed to them by White. And it became more obvious of that fact as Samsung finished NA's best in Game 4. And then came the final boss battle. Well, technically it was only the semifinals, but in this case, it was a battle between the two best teams from Korea. So in other words, the two best teams, period. Samsung White versus Samsung Blue. Sister teams that have been at odds on the rift, but been best friends off of it. Little did they know that this would be their final meeting, and what better place to do it. Although Blue had historically won this matchup, they had just come off a close series with Cloud9, and White was still holding back against their opponents. This was going to be as close as this matchup could ever be. Or, so he thought. Donnie gets what he wants. He is going to be out of the fight, and he also has the intervention on Pawn. Almost goes down here, but he gets the brush control. Denies the vision. Oh no, Looper gets going, and that's going to be one for Dandy as well. And White starts things off. Who up? And Mata to save Dandy. Another jump from Looper as he gets a kill. Can Donnie and the rest of the team answer? Is there any rebuttal to these kills? Whoa. Not in range for the Oswo. It flashes out. Somehow he lives, and they're going to take down Spirit as well. Donnie throws himself in the pan. Way too hot to get out alive. Yeah, he's all by himself. They 
still go in for the fight. One down, now two down. Yeah, here's the Watch a collie from the back. Dottie's trying to find what he can. Death gets hit up. There's no heal for him. Chain of Corruption did go out, but as soon as Looper is let out of that prison, he is just knocking down the walls and finding more kills. A double for him. Another ace for Samsung White. Put the nail in the coffin here. It has been an absolutely exquisite performance here by Samsung White. Nobody actually expected a 26,000 gold lead at 28 minutes in game one of the semifinals, but here we are. And that's 28.50 on the clock, 24 to three. Samsung White takes game one. White dominated every aspect of game one. The map control, the objectives, the skirmishes, everything. And it only continued as the series went on. Even Dade, this MVP caliber mid laner for blue, was no match for Samsung White's pawn. Not to mention the masterclass that was put on by Dandy and Mata, arguably the two greatest players at their positions. Dandy in particular was at his peak during this tournament, and what a peak that was. No one had played jungle at such a high level for an entire tournament. He was the best and it wasn't even close. Off the back of spectacular performances in macro, White defeated Blue 3-0. And White finally overcame their greatest curve. Like what it felt like to finally defeat the team they could not get past. In this way, is legendary. And we have our first finals team to come in now. Somebody, Starhorn Royal Club or OMG, will be playing against Samsung White as they now. Which meant only one thing left to do. Starhorn Royal Club put up a great fight in the finals, especially Rising Star Uzi. They even took a game off of White, and this time, White wasn't trolling either. It was an honorable effort. But even still, White was simply just on another level. Wait, they get the wild throw, they get the kill! It's gonna be Looper and Dandy that are there right away though with the teleport. Dandy was already on point for the counter gang. Mana on the roam as usual. Double kill for Looper's Cassidy. Dandy's cut off. Not a cancel teleport. Looper puts himself right in the front. That Rod of Ages charging up, so he's pretty healthy and he can take a good hit. What a shockwave from Pod. Gets the damage they want, controls the fight, and they walk towards the brush where Dandy is even stronger. And the fight cleanly going in Samsung White's favor. The dragon is only going to be an afterthought here for White. White are on towards the Nexus Three. Look at the damage that they have there. The first Nexus Three is going to fall. Only Lulu really there to stop them. The second Nexus Three fall. They're going to focus in on the Nexus itself. And Samsung White are the 2014 World Champions. What a sight. Samsung White ended the tournament only dropping two games, and they did so in style. Reinventing the meta, talking smack, and being dripped out as hell. What more could you ask for from the best team to ever do it?